What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. Alright, so, here we are in Daisy Editor, alright? Do a little demo for you here real quick. We're going to import a .dze file, okay? Um, let's do that. So we got this bunker build, alright? Up here at the quarry, this is the .dze that I've imported. And now, we are going to export this as a JSON, alright? Let's say I just passed this build to someone, right? So we got the bunker, and it's the JSON. Export, it's saying about the scaled, blah, 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 cool. So now this scaled and whatever situation has been saved. Document, Daisy, Editor. And I named this zero zero something something bunker. Here we go. So here we have this file that we have going from DZE to JSON. Okay. So you have this JSON file and you want to do some work to it, but the scaling screws you up when you put it back into editor. Alright, so I'm here in editor. Alright. Got this bunker build, right? This is the dot DZE. We got scaled items, all that. And I need to export this to put it on my server, console, whatever you're putting it on. I need to export it as a JSON. Alright? So we have this bunker build here. Exporting it as a JSON file. Alright? So now that we have this JSON file. Alright? We put this on our server. We play around with it. We find some stuff we don't like. Well, we need to edit this file. Okay? But when we put a JSON, okay, back into the editor with scaled items, let's take a look at what happens real quick. So we're going to import the JSON of this bunker build. All right. Now things sitting a little weird. I can already 100% tell everything's closed off. Uh, everything's clustered together more. Yeah, there's there's nothing hollow in here. It's all a bunch of rocks. Oh, well, that part's vanilla. So, we've now ruined it, right? We can't do this. If we re-export this, we've completely ruined our build. So, to edit these files that have scaled shit in them, okay, you have to re import the DZE file, the DAISY editor file, its original format. With that, it lets us, as we saw before, simply load in, import, DZE, right? Go back to our original bunker file. And now we have this bunker again, proper. Doesn't look horrible, it's not clustered. Look at this big hollow space, we got caves, it's working. So how do we get that if we don't have that? T-Bag over at Custom Daisy Services has created this simple website. Makes it super easy. All you have to do is choose your file. All right. Choose your file. Documents. Daisy. Editor. We got this bunker JSON. We're going to open that. We need to convert it back to the DZE. Boom. We have the DZE. Take this converted file, right? Put it in your editor folder. All right, back here on editor. Let's go ahead and load back into Chinaris. And we just added our converted JSON. Added it back into our editor folder here in the documents. So let's load this up, check it out, see what we got compared to what we saw in the beginning, the original DZE. This is now the converted to JSON, now back to DZE via T-Bag's website, or tool rather. 
Alright, all that looks good, but none of that was ever the problem. It was always these rocks that got all janky. Alright, we got the caves. Nothing seems out of place. Oh yeah, it even did. It did all the little all the little jiggly bits up in there, man. Hell yeah. That's clean. That is clean. That is clean. So if you've loaded a JSON with scaled stuff uh, back into the editor, you know how janky it can be and hard to like fix and work with to like get your progress back. Well, this right here converts it into a DZE and puts it exactly how it should be. So once again, some tips for your DZ editing. Always save your DZE, but if you don't, Hop on over here to this JSON to DZE converter. Again, made by T-Bag. And a uh, simple conversion, man. You can drag, drop, you know, click it, choose it, paste it, whatever you want to do. Convert it, download it, bloop, put it in your editor folder. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Nice little tool. Hope you learned some shit. I'm out.